Hey everybody, how are you? In this tutorial I'm making a wolf portrait. I'm using a paper for acrylic painting that I've used before. Um, this paper has almost no grain in it, so it's easier to work with. I'm starting with the eyes, like I always do. I've used the medium spear shader for most of the work, but for the eyes I have also tried uh, the ballpoint tip and it seemed to work uh, good because uh, I will take advantage of the little grain the paper has and also the ballpoint tip gives it uh, an additional texture to the eye. I think it worked great. For the for, don't forget also to use uh, some kind of cardboard under the paper so it won't damage the surface uh, underneath uh, that you're working on. This is very important because the burning will bleed uh, to under the paper, through the paper. And I've started uh, with the fur. The fur is actually not very difficult uh, to make once you uh, practice a little bit. Um, I felt what I've traced in this uh, design was uh, the, the direction of the fur, the main features of the direction of the fur. This is very important you must always know uh, the direction of the fur. Uh, I'm making the other eye now. I've used the same technique. I started with the darker areas um, and then uh, went from there uh, to the rest, uh, to the fur, to uh, the eye itself. I think it's important uh, not to be in the same area as I've told you before uh, for a long time because you will see that area uh, for so much time that you will not be able to see uh, something uh, that you could have done better or something you've missed so it's important to change uh, area and do this in sections so that uh, it is more easy to do. As I was saying, uh, for the fur, the strokes should not be parallel. Uh, they actually should be slightly crossed, uh, keeping always the direction of the fur. Uh, these crossed uh, strokes will give uh, a much natural look to the fur and over this texture uh, this will uh, be more natural if you keep adding layers don't go really really dark uh, at the first time uh, keep adding layers and you can also go over the same areas with the whole uh, shader to erase uh, some of the texture and add a more even burn. This uh, outside uh, more blurry area I did it with the whole uh, shader uh, so it, it has this uh, blurry uh, look to it. For the ears, I think you should leave uh, some white areas also, so that it has uh, some light in it.
also don't use a very high temperature. The temperature I've used in this project is between 3 and 4. I have not used more than this. Uh, it's perfectly enough. Uh, if you want some darker strokes, you can uh, slow the burning. So by leaving the tip uh, a little more over your work, it will create a darker area even with the same temperature so you don't need to be always changing the temperature this is very important and saves you some time for the nose um, I have done this more even uh, burn uh, I took advantage of the little grain uh, that is in the paper so it is instantly gave it uh, some texture and I thought it was enough. Uh, you can also uh, do this another way. Uh, this idea is actually um, from Brenda. Uh, you can use the ballpoint tip uh, to create little dots over the nose. I think it would also work, it's another way of doing it. In this part uh, you can see how important it is uh, to make uneven strokes or crossed strokes. It gives it a much more natural look.
on this part of the, the nose, um, the fur is much smaller than in the rest of the, the wolf's head, so you should use uh, shorter strokes to achieve a better result. And uh, you must do um, as the rest of the fur, adding layers, keep adding layers until you achieve uh, as dark as you want it to be. At this point of my videos I will be adding a feature which I will call what have my friends been doing and where I make a quick review of their latest videos and what you will be able to learn with them. So let's take a look. So this is Valerie Channel from Drawing with Fire. Her latest uh, stream uh, which is always Tuesdays, is uh, detailing large areas. So she is using a torch from Dremel and you can learn that it is uh, very useful for backgrounds, for example. Uh, you will save a lot of time with this. Uh, just don't try it for the first time in a work that you've been doing for hours, uh, as everything you have to learn how to use it. Um, she also explains, she uses a 400 grit sandpaper uh, to light it a little bit and uh, a glassine paper so you won't be spreading carbon all over the place. Uh, also a carving knife so you can also lighten uh, this a little bit. Uh, now um, Brenda from Paragraphy Made Easy made a high heel tutorial. Uh, she starts by telling you uh, the different uh, values uh, in this project. Uh, she explains where they are and uh, how you can make them. Also the inside she turned it uh, dark instead of uh, really bright as it was in the reference photo. And so uh, all the areas uh, are separated and step by step uh, the high hill uh, is coming to life. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe, it would help me a lot. See you in the next video.